Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a quilting technique for a card. I think I've done this before but not with this particular card. So this is the first one I did. I did see a YouTube video of this but I can't remember who the demonstrator was who did it. Um, but here you are, this is the finished card using the Pansy Patch Suite, well rather the, uh, the designer series paper and uh, also the stamp set. Um, and there are the quilted pieces behind. I used to do quilting actually, so I really enjoyed doing this. And this is one using the peach set, the designer series paper. And I cut these two pieces out of the designer series paper. So now I'm going to use the Friends Alike Seashells designer series paper, which is sadly retiring in within a week. So one side looks like that and the other side looks like that and it's great because you've got these big seashells that you can cut out um, those and then you've got starfish and mermaid something those are called I think and then a lovely spotty paper there so and this is the stamp set for friends like seashells and these are the dies so these are the stamp set and dies are carrying over um, into the new catalogue so these are the dies and you've got a large one which the embossing folder also embosses. Um, so an example of a card with that is here where I have embossed and then cut out the embossed shells. So let's carry on with a quilted card. I'll just put my dies away so that they don't get lost. So you will need a scrap piece of 12 by whatever paper that you don't mind one that you don't particularly like would be useful and then you need four strips of designer series paper that are 12 inches by half an inch and with a contrast of color would be really good so this is from the seaside shells designer series paper and you can see i've got some contrasting colors there i'm not going to be using all of this piece so i'm just going to take the first piece and i'm going to put tombow glue uh, use it like a pen or a pencil and just put a thin line of glue all the way down the 12 by 12, 12 by half I should say. And that's going to stick to the edge of this piece like that. And then I'm going to take the second piece and probably it would be a good idea if I actually did this on my silicone mat. So the second piece because uh, the lovely thing about silicone mat is it doesn't get stuck to everything and you can wash it off afterwards. So it's really great. I have one for gluing and I have one for using with inky techniques as well. So that's that. And I'm going to stick that one on next to the first one. And you're just going to put one edge against the other and it should fit really nicely. Then I'm going to take the third one, which is in So Saffron, which is a great colour. These are sort of subtles colours really, I think. Soft Sky was uh, an in colour that retired a couple of months ago. Uh, but this one is so saffron, which is still a subtle. Um, this is Blushing Bride really there. And put it right up against the other one like that. So you'll see why in a moment. And then this one is mainly Soft Sky. It's the colourway of this one. So let's just... You might want to know the reason why I don't tell people that... Whoops. That's the wrong side. That's a mistake. So see if I can get away with just doing this side. Somebody said it's really good when people don't edit their videos <clears throat> and they put their mistakes so that people can see that everybody makes mistakes basically. It's just a creative opportunity. So here's this one. Just put that like that. And Put that one against so this these strips now measure two inches okay so i'm going to take my trusty trimmer i'll call it first of all i just want to skim off a tiny bit here which i may or may not get away with but we'll see just a teeny teeny bit oh i am going to get away with it wow just a shred there's the shred that's come off that shows you that this trimmer will just cut off a shred that's pretty impressive Okay, so I'm going to cut off a shred this side as well. Well, not a shred, I'm going to cut it down this side like that. And now I'm going to cut this into two inch squares. So I'll need four two inch squares. One, 
two, three, four. Okay, so now I'm going to cut them into what in the quilting trade you'd call half square triangles. So two are going to be cut like that and two are going to be cut like that. You want them going different ways. So if I just do that. One. This is the second one. Hope you've all been enjoying a sunny afternoon, perhaps doing some gardening or whatever. I've been visiting some people this afternoon, which has been nice. Getting out and about, as they say. So that was done like that. So this will be done like that. It's just remembering to do two each way. And I'll try not to do what I did on the peach one, which was um, put it back the same way as it was before I cut the triangles. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's see if I can get this one right this time. That's why if there's nobody watching, oh, somebody's watching. <laughs> oh well, anyway, no matter. Okay, right. So now I'm going to piece these together and this is the fun part. Because I want them to, oh, that looks interesting. Let's see, that looks interesting. Quite like that and that. There's so many different ways you could put these together. I quite like this way, I think. I haven't done it this way with any of my other cards, but there's always a first time. So there we go. There we go. Okay, so now somewhere here. Here we go. I have. So this card base is five by five. So cut ten by five inches and score it at five. And this is four and a half by four and a half. Okay, let's try and get that a bit more central. Okay. So I'm going to use my grid paper here. And it's on centimetres, so I'm going to do what I didn't do last night at my team meeting. I didn't turn it over, so let's just see if I can do it here now. Because this is in inches, it's no use me having the grid paper in centimetres. Let me just get my shell and put it this way. Okay, so I know I want that, that, that and that. And I want this central, so it's five, so it's going to be, this is four and a half, so it's going to be two and a quarter that way, and it's going to be one, two and a quarter that way, and that's central. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could actually just, in fact I will, draw a line at the centre just so I line it up better. So I'm just going to do it at the centre because I don't want it to show. I just need it for lining up. I'll just do a line here. Hang on. There we go. And now I start sticking my triangles down. Half square triangle, that's what it's called. I don't know if that's what I said at the beginning, but anyway. So, here we go. So this is the first one. Okay. And then the next one. And just before I stick this down, I'm just going to trim off this little bit at the side, which is just sticking out a bit. So great way to use up little scraps if you've got 12 by 3 of designer series paper. This would be a good way to use it up to do a card like this. Uh, so you can just see I'm just putting a little bit of Tombow on there. And that one. You see, hopefully, oops, I just need to move these in a little bit. Hopefully that will. Oh, still got a little bit of wiggle room with that Tombow. That's amazing. Slightly gappy on the right hand side, but hopefully whoever gets this card won't notice that. So you can, this is actually showing up better because there's more of a contrast between the strips. Whereas one of the other ones, they sort of melted into each other, really. Okay. 
So there you can see the patchwork. And then if I take now, what I can do is actually, and I will do, I will just emboss this with the seaside shells embossing folder, making sure I've got the raised bit on the bottom. This will look interesting. So let's see what this comes out like. Where do I want my shells? I think I want them that way. Bear with me while I just go and run this through my big shop or cut an emboss machine even. Right. Um, So there I've got the seashell pattern which has come through, which I really like actually. It just adds a bit of extra interest, some 3D interest. So now if I can find my stamp and seal, which I can. This is always good to use stamp and seal if you're attaching something that's been embossed to make sure that it will stick down. So I'm just going to put this on like so. Now I have got a spare sentiment base there, so these are the sentiments. So I think I will do You Are Unique and Completely Amazing, because I really love that. In fact, I'm a very sad case, that's one of the reasons I bought this stamp set. Although I love the shells anyway, but I do love You Are Unique and Completely Amazing. I've used it with the Hippo Happiness stamp set. So I've got to decide what colour to do. I'm going to do it seaside spray. So it's not in my stamp and my um, stackable shelves. It's on my shelf because it's retired now. But it's a great colour. Absolutely love it. But I never got the refills, which is sad. They were out of stock when I wanted them. And uh, I never got them. So... I won't be able to refill my seaside spray, but there we go. I'm sure I could use balmy blue instead if I wanted to. So that says you're unique and completely amazing. So I'm just going to, that looks a bit bare, but it'll be okay once I've stuck some seashells on it, which is what I'm planning to do. So let's just put large dimensionals on the back and take off the backings. Uh, try to keep these videos to maximum of 15 minutes i don't know how i'm doing but we'll soon find out so that's like that and then i have got some shells that i've pre-cut and then scattered all over my desk so i might have to grab the paper and cut some more so let me see if i can find there we go so here's a large one so that could sort of go like that and then i could have a blue one and there's a pink one and there's a brown one so which way does this shell go? I think it will look better if it sort of goes like that. So I need to put a dimensional here and a little bit of Tombow here. So when you have a bit off and a bit on, you put a, a cent, um, when it's going on to something that's also 3D, you put the Tombow under that bit, obviously, and you put the dimensional under that bit. So. Let's see, this definitely needs to be covered, but I think I'm going to grab the paper. So this is the leftover. I'm doing a class actually using this set next week. And so these are leftover. This is all I've got left of the paper. Really sad because it's fabulous paper. So I think I'll cut out. Uh, I'm sure that the dies cut out some of these shells, but sometimes I find it's quicker just to fussy cut. And actually, do you know what? I quite like fussy cutting, so uh, there we go, around there. And there we go. So I might put that large one. Hmm. Interesting this. Oh, it's got to go there really, I think. So let's put some dimensionals on the back of that. I happen to have two large ones to hand. I probably otherwise would have... Uh, put that like that. And then I do need something up there. So I think I'll put that one up there. This is very off the cuff, by the way, because that needs to be covered. 
and then I put this one on. I have got a mini dimensional. Let's get a mini dimensional out and put that like that and then I do need one more so I guess I could put just one more that way and put some glue at the top and just overlap it put that on like that and there you go there's my card you are unique and completely amazing and you can still see the patchworky pieces behind so that's the one using the friends are like seashells um, design a series paper <coughs> and stamp set that's the one using the peach can't remember the exact name of it but that's using the peach designer series paper that's in the new annual catalogue and that's the one using the pansy patch designer series paper in the new annual catalogue and those two pansies are cut out of the designer series paper so i really hope that you've enjoyed this video thanks for joining me this afternoon have a good rest of day bye